Hi. So today we're going to talk about how to how to write short response items. And again, in this um, section on constructed response items, there's a little difference between fill in the blank, short response, extended response, but it's not super important that you make these detailed um, definite distinctions between them. So when we're talking about short response items, um, we're talking about items that um, items that require more than one word or phrase to answer in general. Um, they're formatted as a question or a specific request. They can be up to a few sentences depending on developmental level. So if I'm running a, um, a short response item for a, um, a first grader, a second grader, you know, a couple of sentences, that might be an extended essay for a second grader, but for, you know, a 12th grader, that might be a short response item. So just think about the, t the age level, the developmental level of the students you're working with. And again, like I said, it's not super important to be distinguishing between these short responses, short answer, long response essays. So some advantages here. It allows more reflection and expansion of thinking than just to fill in the blank. Um, and it takes less time to write than selected response items. Um, but it takes less time to respond to than an essay. So it's like that happy medium between the two. Um, and it takes less time to grade. Um, so kind of maybe it's the best of both worlds here. Um, some disadvantages, it takes longer to answer than a selected response, so you can't ask quite as many short response items. Um, and it's subjective grading, so you do have to, in these, think about how you'll assign the points. So that'll be important when you're creating your um, content knowledge instrument, is you tell me, how are you going to grade this? How are you going to assign these points? Um, and it takes longer to, uh, to assess than a selected response item, or a fill-in-the-blank item, because you're still having to make those kinds of subjective decisions. Um, and it could be less valid when you're thinking things about spelling and handwriting um, that you will have to take into consider for some students. So some guidelines here. Um, save the item so that the required answer is brief and the expectations are clear. So if this is truly a short response item, then you want to make sure that you tell them it's a short response item and you make sure that they understand that what those expect expectations are. Make sure that they know what was expected. Um, and try to keep the responses um, brief so that we can lessen the impact of time. You, you truly don't want students to be spending, you know, 30 minutes on this um, if they only have an hour for the test. Um, and this will also help assess ELLs and ESC with greater validity. So again, which one's better? What are reptiles? List four characteristics of reptiles or list four characteristics that make reptiles unique from other types of animals. And can you think about what's the problem with that middle question? All right, because I can say four characteristics of reptiles are they live on Earth and they breathe air and they, you know, are alive, right? Those are all characteristics of reptiles, but they're not what make reptiles unique as opposed to birds or mammals, right? And I'm probably going for the, rept the characteristics that make them unique. Um, state the item succinctly with words that the students will understand. Again, we want to lessen that reading load as much as possible if I'm not assessing reading. Um, you want to be measuring the construct rather than reading comprehension. So in general, our idea here is that we're keeping the items at or below the grade level of the students that we're assessing unless we're measuring reading comprehension. So again, what is the role of mitochondria in the Krebs cycle? Answer in two to complete sentences or mitochondria, one of the organelles in animal cells, plays an important role in the Krebs cycle. Please elaborate on the purpose of mitochondria in this short answer question. Answer in one to two complete sentences. Think about how that first one's so much more clear, it's going to take less time to, to read and comprehend, and I'm still asking the same thing, right? So again, shorter is better. Um, so short answer questions can assess application. So here's an example. Mrs. Hernandez gives a gold star to her students each time they line up quietly. After they earn 10 stars, she awards them with a pizza party. To which learning theory is this most aligned? Explain your answer in one to two sentences. So I hope you guys could all answer this question after your ed side class, right? And again, I I want you I want students to be able to answer this, but I also am thinking about can they tell me why this would apply to behaviorism the most? Can they use those keywords about behaviorism? Another example, Nancy is exploring the land near her pond in her neighborhood. She finds an animal that lays unshelled eggs and has permeable skin. What is the best classification of this animal? Explain why. So again, and I told them how long, remember in each of these, I'm really giving them those guidelines about how long their answer should be. And here's another example. Again, I'm really, I'm giving them a situation, asking them a question, and then telling them how long the answer should be. You can also use short answer to assess deep understanding. So what event is the climax of the play Hamlet? Explain your answer in two to three sentences. So again, 
the answers don't have to be very long for me to get to that deep understanding. I'm able to ask the more questions, I have greater item sampling by using short answer, short response items, but I'm still getting at those deeper, um, more complex thinking that I'm asking students to do. And then you can see these other examples as well. So that's my lesson on um, short answer response items. If you have any questions, please let me know through my email, and I'm looking forward to reading your content knowledge instruments this week. Bye.